Hey everyone, my name is Jake and today we are going to be looking at some I don't work here lady stories, so sit back, relax and enjoy. I work here, but that's not my job. I work at a fairly well-known tutoring center around my area. Our rates are pretty high, but we still get a lot of clients because we offer a very specialized program. I work here as an administrator as a part-time job, while earning my degree in the business field. I handle a lot of office work as well as delegating the center as a whole. On what would have been a nice Tuesday afternoon, the devil Karen has finally made an appearance in my life. Me is me and Karen is the awful lady. At around 20 past 2, an hour before my center officially opens for students, Karen and her son, who's maybe 8 or 10, walks into the center. Not only that, but she barges into my office without knocking or even a warning. I figure she must be in a rush, so I go out to greet her the way I typically do. Hello, welcome to the learning center. My name is OP, how can I help you today? I want to enroll my son here. Okay, that would be no problem. Is there a program specifically you're looking for? Obviously! You think I'd take him here if he didn't need help? Oh, I'm sorry ma'am, that's not what I meant. I start listing our services provided and tell them that there are steps to apply such as an assessment test, a deposit and an appointment slot, because our sessions are appointments only. I also mention our fees because they are slightly higher than other nearby learning centers. With no regard to the information I've given her, Karen then proceeds to walk him out of my office and through the door to the class where most of our tutoring sessions take place. My tutors who were in there prepping their lesson plans for the day looks at me confused where I just shook my head. She tells him to sit down and that she will be back. Karen turns to me and says, Okay, now go teach him. I'll be back in an hour. And I don't want any of those lazy tutors. I want you. Sorry, I'm afraid I can't do that. I'm actually not a tutor. I am an administrator here and handle primarily the paperwork. Stop being so lazy. Why would you get a job at a learning center if you're not going to teach? At this point, my patience was almost non-existent. We weren't open for another hour and all of our appointment slots were already filled for the day. I knew there was nothing I could really do to get rid of her, since her stubborn butt was already beginning to walk out of the room. Okay, I'll chew to him, but at a rate of $250 an hour. Her mouth drops and she starts rambling about how that isn't what I said earlier and how dare I raise the price on it now. You requested me specifically, and since I do not work as a tutor, I will need to promptly be compensated. I will also need a fee for $50 since you did not make an appointment beforehand. She starts turning red and going off about how no one has ever disrespected her this way, and proceeds to threaten to take action by ratting me out to my manager. I walk out only to grab a card that has my manager's number. I give it to her and tell her to have a good day. She walks out with her son fuming. And apparently she did actually call the manager, but OP and the manager are rather close, so it was alright. Somewhat cathartic. A little bit of background. I work for a security contractor slash detective agency. And the only client I work for the last couple of years is a large German supermarket chain being employed in many different, almost every store in my home city. The liaison manager in my district is as entitled as it gets, and entitled people being my pet peeve, I started to hate him the first time I met him. Still, this guy has his fair share of power over way too many people and employees usually rather kowtow to him before being fired. Also, since I work as a store detective, I don't wear uniform when on the clock. 
However, due to severe back issues, I haven't been able to work since late January. Although you normally couldn't tell since they aren't visible. After working at this supermarket chain for years, and since I have four of their stores within 5 to 15 minutes by foot, I usually go to one of them for my groceries. And almost every employee in these stores knows me and my job. Dramatis Personae ELM is the Entitled Liaison Manager, SM the Store Manager, and OW the Office Worker at my company. Last Friday, I went to the closest store nearby, got a shopping cart and wandered through the aisles. I took my time since I hadn't planned any meals for the weekend and was somewhat stoned. Back issues can be dang painful and most painkillers don't really work anymore, except in high doses and I want to stay away from morphines etc. My doctors are cool with me using this, although it isn't legal here, barring very few exceptions. I wanted to grab a special beverage that wasn't on the shelf at that time, so I left my cart and my backpack with it to look for an employee to ask if they have some in storage. Instead, I saw a man I caught shoplifting several times over the last few years. Out of habit, I followed him with some distance and he actually stuffed a bottle of vodka into his jacket, most probably an inner pocket. Just as any time I caught him before, I turned away and headed to the checkout area when I ran into the store manager. I told her about my observation, hoping that maybe she'd be thankful and hand me a gift card. That sometimes happens when a customer informs the staff about a shoplifter who then gets caught. She thanked and asked me if I would join here to watch the dude via CCTV, since I am way more experienced in this than her. I agreed and since my shopping cart was on the way to the office, I simply took it with me to the office. Together we observed the presumed shoplifter loading his duffel bag with packs of coffee and heading towards the exit. The store manager and I stopped the dude just outside the store, asked him to follow us into the office, dispatched the matter and since he had stuff worth over a hundred bucks in total, store manager was the happiest I ever saw her. Happy enough to fulfill my hopes of a gift card. I didn't ask for it, though I didn't decline either. Just as we finished paperwork and store manager gave me the gift card, the entitled liaison manager enters the office, and the actual story begins. What did you do there, store manager? We pay enough for security and we don't hand out gift cards to people for doing their jobs. Yeah, but I didn't simply do my job. I'm sick for almost a year now and don't get paid to do this. I did it out of habit and because I would be ticked if that dude got away. Don't talk to me and not in that tone. I am talking to the store manager, not you. Uh, sorry, entitled liaison manager, but he actually doesn't work for quite some time. He did this voluntarily and I wanted to be gracious, that's it. I said we don't hand out gift cards to people doing their job. Me getting audibly upset in a moment's notice over this jerk. Yeah, whatever. Store manager, thanks for the gift card, but I think I should go back to shopping now. That's it. I'll call your office to report this. I can have you fired and you know that. Yup. And you know someone can't be fired when he's sick. Exceptions apply, but it is very hard. Whatever. Your ID? I can shorten this. I took out my phone and called my office. The office worker picked up. Company name, this is office worker. How can I help you? Hey office worker, listen, I've got a situation with the entitled liaison manager and… The office worker interrupts. How? How do you do that while not even working and being sick? Note, I do have a history with the entitled liaison manager and I'm yet the only employee to have had several negative encounters with him that didn't get fired. I filled her in with the events and could hear her co-worker laugh. 
Apparently, she had put on speakers for the whole office to listen. Okay, please hand me over to the entitled liaison manager. I'll try and sort this out. From there on, I could only hear what the manager said, but he got a sour look on his face, maybe realizing he was at fault. He said goodbye and handed me my phone back. The office worker then told me she explained to him I was sick and hadn't worked in almost a year now, and that he had no reason to be angry. Then she asked me to try not to clash with the entitled liaison manager again. We said goodbye and I hang up. I then thanked store manager for the gift card, gave the manager my most sarcastic winning grin, and went on shopping. This was kind of cathartic since the entitled liaison manager is a huge jerk to everyone he has some kind of power over, and I handed him the only loss I know about. It felt so sweet. I'm kind of curious how much was on the gift card. Was it like $20, $50, $100? I don't know. I don't work for this store. So a while back, I was working for a well-known tool store. Well, I went to another well-known store to buy some things for my home and some video games. While I was browsing the towels to decide what color towels and how many I wanted, a lady in her mid to late 30s comes up to me and asks me where I can find an item that I now know is on the other side of the store. Well, I did not know where the item was and was in a not so friendly mood. It kind of took me off guard, so I ignored her. She did not take to that so kindly. She got louder since she probably thought I did not hear her. I proceeded to stand up and look at her asking, what do you want? After saying that to her, she looked super offended. Her response to me was something along the lines of, is that any way to speak to a paying customer? It is your job to help me find items that I cannot find. I had to laugh to stop myself from making her feel bad about herself. I was in my work uniform from the tool store I worked at during the time, which says the company name on the back. I somewhat politely told her that I don't work here and then told her where she can find an employee. Her response was, You do work here? I've seen you in here so many times. It's like you live here. I spent a lot of time and money at the store we were in. I'm going to get a manager and see to it that you get fired. I responded to her with, Well, if you are going to get a manager, then let's find one together. It took five minutes for her to find a manager, and when she found a manager, proceeded to say that I was being rude and not a good face to the store, and then demanded I be fired. The manager calmly said, Ma'am, he does not work here, and would not be able to get a job here with our decently strict policy against tattoos and facial piercings. Now, I am going to have to ask you to leave this gentleman alone, or I will have you escorted from the property. What I don't understand about when people say, Oh, I see you here a lot, you must work here, because then they have to also be there a lot, so surely they work there, right? Lady thinks I work at a pet shop and wants me to groom her dog. So, I'm in college to be a veterinarian assistant, or a nurse for animals in other words. At my college, we have to wear dark navy blue scrubs. So, I was walking into a big chain pet store to get some cat food for my cat and some other things for her after my classes ended. I was minding my own business, walking around with my headphones in. When I feel a tap on my back, so I look around, thinking maybe I'm in the way or something. Then, thinking she maybe needs help. I don't mind pointing something out or helping find something. Do you need some help? I say, but was cut off when I heard it. The sound of a wild Karen. I thought they only existed in legend. Excuse me, I need you to groom my dog. She said this in a huffy tone and I was a little confused. 
Um, I don't work here. But my words fell on deaf ears. Well, can you find someone? She said it louder. Me getting a little bit annoyed at her just pointed at the groomer and said, Yeah, they can. She huffed. I want to speak to the manager. She yelled loudly. Okay, go find them, I said, before walking away. The last thing I remember was her yelling across the shop and her stomping out. Wow, I mean, that right there is just a classic Karen story. They never get old. Hey everyone, I hope you're all having a really good day and that you enjoyed that video. If you want to see more videos like it, then click on screen right now. And if you never want to miss out on a video, then hit subscribe. But I will see you all very soon.